Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my April favorites. I'm going to be talking about all the products I really, really was loving in the month of April. And before I get on to all the pro- I poked myself. Before I start talking about all these products, I just want to let you guys know that this video is a collab with Essie Button, which I'm sure you guys know who that is. We decided it would be a good idea to um, kind of film our favorites videos together, even though we're not together. But we thought we would give each other a mention in this video. She is definitely a monthly favorite. She's a yearly favorite. I have been watching Essie Button for a very long time. She's one of the first YouTubers I ever saw, like back when she was like in her dorm room. I'm an OG subscriber of Essie. OG right here. I'm gonna link her favorites video down below and I'm also gonna link her channel down below. I know you guys are gonna love her. I know you already know who I'm talking about, but if you don't, go subscribe to her because she's amazing. She has a great sense of humor and I'm always like super intrigued watching her videos. Like her videos don't bore me at all. So I will leave Essie's, or Este is her name. I will leave her down below. Go subscribe. You won't regret it. So my first favorite is kind of a weird one. And if you watch a lot of YouTube videos like I do all the time, you might have heard about this moisturizer that's been going around called Benigma. A lot of people have been raving about it, but it is really, really pricey. And two of the major ingredients in that moisturizer, I'm sure it has a bunch of other benefits as well, like a bunch of other goodness. I'm sure it's amazing. But two major ingredients in that moisturizer or night cream is uh, manuka honey and bee venom and they're both really really good for your skin so on iherb.com I shop a lot on iherb.com I found this bad boy right here this is 100% raw manuka honey and bee venom which is two of the major ingredients in that little moisturizer so I decided to pick this up and I love this this is what I use as a face mask I will just I mean I don't want to open it because it's literally honey like it's honey. You can eat this. Don't get scared like, oh, bee venom. Oh, I don't want to eat that. It's not like poison. A lot of people that were reviewing the product on iHerb.com said it actually tasted really good. I slather this all over my face. Like there's no rhyme or reason to this. I literally scoop it out and with a, like a little spatula and put it all over my face and I'll leave it on for about 30 minutes. I mean, you could leave it on for like five minutes, you could leave it on for an hour. It is a natural product, you know, you can leave it on as long as you want. The Manuka Honey is a natural antibacterial. So it's gonna clear your skin of breakouts and it's also an anti-inflammatory, which is really good if you have like um, pimples that you pop often. I know a lot of people like to pick at their pimples. If you're one of those people, Manuka Honey is great because it's really gonna heal the skin, it's gonna soothe it because it's an anti-inflammatory. It contains amino acids, it helps your pores. Um, this is also really, really good for anti-aging and What's great for me is that it's amazing. It's an amazing moisturizer. Honey is very, very moisturizing. So it's really gonna retain your moisture and help that. Regular 100% raw natural honey is good too, but Manuka honey has been shown to have a lot more antibacterial properties. Now the bee venom has been, it's kind of like a collagen booster or like a wrinkle reducer. I don't know because I haven't used it long enough to, to really tell you those things, but it's supposed to firm the skin, help fine lines and wrinkles. It's supposed to increase blood circulation and firm the skin. So this is an all natural product and it has been a great face mask in my skincare routine. I highly, highly recommend checking out. 100% raw Manuka honey and bee venom. By the way, a lot of people on iHerb.com said that they purchased this to help their arthritis or to, to help joint pain. And a lot of people were saying it really helped them. So if you're someone who suffers from that, um, take a look at this as well. It's not only good for the skin on the outside. Okay, I'm sorry. I feel like I was talking about that product for a really long time. Now I'm gonna try to breeze through the rest of it. This is my next favorite, and it's something that I'm so happy I discovered. This is the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Chiseled to Perfection face contouring and highlighting kit. I love this, I don't use my Anastasia one nearly as much anymore. It's, I just can't, I, just, I love this one so much more. This has less product. The Anastasia one has six and this has four, but I still like this one more. It has the shade light cocoa, medium cocoa, dark cocoa, and this little guy right here called Pop of Light. I, let me take this out. <laughs> I do not like this one called Pop of Light. This is their highlighter. This is the only thing in this kit that I wish was different. 
It's supposed to be like a face highlighter, but honestly, it's a powder with a bunch of glitter in it. And I don't like highlighting with glitter. I, I, don't, I don't understand why they put that in there. But the rest is top-notch, phenomenal, that I could look past that. Light Cocoa is what I use to set my under eye concealer. And I don't know if you can tell, but the glow that's right here, like in the center of my face, is this. It sets the concealer so it doesn't crease, but then it gives you a beautiful, like, highlighted look underneath the eyes. Really similar to Max Emphasize. Really similar. I contour my face using the medium cocoa shade. You can see that it is a cool tone bronzer, but it's not ashy. I love it. That's what I use today to contour my cheekbones and it chisels your face and it makes it amazing. And then I use the dark cocoa to warm up my face. It's actually what I used on top of my contour today to give my face that warmy, glowy, warmy? glowy look and I use that in my crease as well so I am just over the moon obsessed with this a mascara game changer for me is the Maybelline lash sensational mascara I am like the last person to jump on this bandwagon but I decided to try a different drugstore mascara one day when I was walking around Walgreens and I decided to pick this up because my cousin said it was really good and I love it I usually hate rubber bristles like on my mascaras and I usually hate when they curve like that but this one is fantastic it gives me a lot of volume it does give me a lot of length it's like the best of both worlds I find that it does hold a curl and it's easy to take off at the end of the day which I can appreciate because I hate anything that's hard to remove I hate it I feel like I'm talking about a lot of game changers right now but these are major game changers in the makeup world. These are the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizers, aka face primers. They did send me all of them, all the ones that they came out with, but these are my three personal favorite. This one is the Smoothing Primer. I am wearing it today in conjunction with this um, hydrating one. But this is phenomenal. I usually don't love those benefit professional type of <laughs> primers. Though they're really great for filling in the pores. And sometimes I feel like, oh my god, my pores look very visible. And I need a primer like that. This one is so good because it doesn't over dry. Like it doesn't dry out my skin. And it makes my skin flawless. Like baby smooth just like one even texture. It's incredible. I actually have this guy right here, the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and I hate it. It literally crumbs up into little balls on my face and it dries out my skin. But this one doesn't do that. I am crazy about it. The other two I love are the hydrating one and the uh, redness correcting one. This one I wore nonstop when I had a really big rash on my face. I used some weird oil that broke me out into a big red rash and the only thing that minimized my redness before I put on makeup was this. No other red reducing primer worked, just this. And it really subsided my redness. And then of course I do have dry skin and this hydrating one is amazing. They do have a nourishing one that I don't like nearly as much. This one feels like you are putting a full glass of water on your face. I don't know how to explain it, it's like your skin drinks. A whole glass of water when you use this <laughs> so a major thing that happened in the month of April if you guys have been you know watching my channel you would have known that I came out with my own foursome in collaboration with Colourpop and of course it's gonna be a monthly favorite of mine because it's a major thing that happened in my life and it did happen this month and I just want to thank every single person who has supported me on this journey even those of you who did not purchase it um, those of you who don't live in the United States or can't get it who are still supporting me Even if you do live in the United States and don't purchase it, but you watch my channel and support me I freaking love you so much for those of you who did purchase it. Thank you as well I mean the constant support means the world to me. I really really am so proud of it and some of the colors people don't like but I really really love it these colors scream my name and everything that I represent and the warm bronziness and I just I love it so much I will link the foursome down below just in case you want to check it out so my next favorite is another ColourPop item and these are the ColourPop super shock cheek highlighters you need to pick up lunch money because it's amazing it's so frosted but like in a shimmery way not in a glittery way at all it's so intense but you could go really light hand with this 
or like put it on and look like Jennifer Lopez for real, like Jenny from the block for real. These highlighters are all super pigmented, super buttery and smooth and the formula is unbeatable. They're only $8 and you get a lot of product and these suckers will last for a long time because I mean, they're so beautiful. I just had to give lunch money a quick mention because it's my favorite. But I do have another highlighter I wanna talk about and this one is $2. This is technically a bronzer, but no. This is the e.l.f. Sunkissed Glow Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. This is $2 on the e.l.f. website and at Target or whatever. It's such a beautiful golden sheen. Like, I can't believe this is $2. It's the highlight I'm wearing on my face today. Like, the golden one sheen you see on my cheeks it's this guy right here they do have another shade that i don't own and i kind of want to but it's a lot darker but holy guacamole this highlighter is beautiful 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 okay so really quickly i'm going to talk about blushes and i feel like i have been liking blush a lot more than i used to and if you guys can tell watching my videos i don't really like like blush i like very subtle very soft blushes on my face why am i talking so much with my hands today and i want to give this guy a quick mention because it is life i love this this is the clinique cheek pop blush pop in the shade nude pop i love the packaging it has like this acrylic thick rim and this is what it looks like on the inside it's a beautiful flower and what's great about these blushes besides like the color and stuff is this is not just like a flower that eventually fades after you put your brush in there a bunch of times like the stamping is real like that flower will stay there i love this because it does last a really long time on my face and the pigmentation is beautiful it's a peachy nude which is my favorite kind of blush honestly but i feel like i don't have anything quite like this one there's something special about it it has a soft like glow to it it doesn't have a shimmer or glitter in it but it's glowy on the cheeks and I love it. I do want to pick up Melon Pop as well after trying this one and loving it so much. Two other blushes I want to mention, they're both from the drugstore and both from the same line. These are the Revlon Powder Blush, Powder Blushes, okay. The Revlon Blushes. This one is in the shade Naughty Nude and this one is Oh Baby Pink. My favorite one out of both of them, I hate the way that it's just like a rectangle strip. It drives me nuts. But my favorite one out of both of them is this one in Naughty Nude. It's a nice nude color, again, my favorite. This is really pigmented and lasts a long time on the skin. For some reason, in the swatches that I'm showing you, it doesn't look as pigmented as it applies on the cheeks. Very, very strange. At least this one is. This one, I was pleasantly surprised when it wasn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. And I know you're thinking like... Why would that surprise you pleasantly? But I love that this isn't as pigmented as it looks on the pan because when you put this on your face, it gives a light baby pink glow. It's like a serious glow. I don't know how it does it because it doesn't have shimmer or glitter, but your face, like your cheeks are glowing with like a beautiful spring baby pink I don't know. I love these blushes. Okay, so I'm going to show you something that is going to change the game for self-tanning for women all over the world. This is the Josie Marin self-tanning mitt. It came with this. I bought this at the VIB sale and I forgot to show it to you guys. But this is the Josie Marin Argan Liquid Gold Self-Tanning Oil and it comes with this freaking fantastic mitt. I'm going to be completely honest. I haven't even tried this yet. But this, I used it yesterday to tan my body and um, I could pretty much throw every glove out the window from now on. Nothing has ever compared to this glove. I don't know how to explain it, it's the best. It's like super good quality, it has like this on the inside which makes it easy to hold onto, your glove doesn't like fly off and it's like streak free, amazing. And I know people buy this set mainly for this, but honey, this is good. This is really good. Mark my words, every YouTuber who self-tans will be talking about this glove. Watch. Okay, two more things before I go. I'm actually going to start something else on my channel. Um, kind of like a random favorite of the month. Where I talk about books, songs, fashion, food, 
um, stuff like that, things that are not beauty. I'm going to start doing that. I was really quickly going to talk about my Don't Sweat the Small Stuff book um, that changed my life. I'm not even joking. This book is unreal. But I'm not going to go into detail in this video because I will talk about it in my random favorites. I just wanted to let you guys know. I know that was like such a tease. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be doing that once a month on my channel. Besides my beauty favorites, I'm going to talk about other random favorites as well. So stay tuned for that video because that should be coming up very soon. Okay, so scratch that. Not two more things because I'll talk about the book in that video. But my last favorite is this right here. This brings back so many memories. You guys have no idea. This is the pink, um, the, the Victoria's Secret body splash in warm and cozy. Body mist, excuse me, not body splash, body mist. I used to wear this in high school every single day. Um, like after PE. <laughs> I would just spray this on and and I completely forgot that they even made this but I was in Victoria's Secret looking for something and I saw this and I was like oh my god they changed the packaging I used to have the old packaging like that's how long ago I used to wear this and I just remember how much I loved this it says it's toasted vanilla and peony peony I can't say that and it smells so intoxicating it's definitely a warm sweet fragrance but very warm at the same time and it looks like I barely even dented it because it's like kind of strong to where I only need one spray here and one spray here and I can smell it on me for a long time after that it's intense and beautiful and it's perfect to just like throw in a bag in a gym bag or something I love this scent they have a bunch of different ones but my favorite one from this little line is definitely warm and cozy go give it a sniff Okay guys, so that was everything I was loving in the month of April. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Essie. Links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Did I already say this? And I will see you.